Hey there, it's Stevie from I Love Wolf Dogs. iRobot was uh, kind enough to send us this rig for free, this iRobot i7 Plus with the vacuum. No, they didn't send it for free, but I did get a really good deal on it, and uh, the reason why we did it is for Spartacus, our husky. As you can see, there's hair everywhere. Like, that's after cleaning. And we have two cats, one that sheds pretty bad, so, and I have horrible asthma and I'm allergic to cats, so we needed some kind of other, like a change, like, because when we vacuumed, we would get trash bags full. In fact, I'll put, I'll put a picture right up now for you to see. This is after Sparta's done shedding, so this is a weekly amount that we get from just medium to small amount of shedding. So, oh Jesus. Excited. I did a lot of research. He's ready for the box. I want to cut him. Did a lot of research. This one was. It's a long boy. It's a unit of a cat. Okay, I gotta open this before you. So this is the i7 with the vacuum. Okay, he'll be out of our hair soon once I... For Sparta. Am I hiding? Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, God, this ain't, I love cats. Okay, uh, so it comes with a vacuum, apparently it's super powerful, it can like hold up a month's worth of hair, but I don't think iRobot knows about Huskies or German Shepherds and Malamutes, like how much they shed. Look, he stuck his hand through the box. He created a hole. He's gonna kill us in our sleep. Um, okay. But yeah, let's see what it does with the husky hair. And this one has the app. So. There she is. Ooh. It smells like new car. This is gonna be covered in husky hair. Um, I will pull out the uh, vacuum real quick and then we will set this all up and start testing it with the husky hair. We haven't shedded Spartacus yet because we wanted to try it out with uh, just putting the hair on the ground to see what it would do. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All right. Wow. Check that out. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> We're gonna have to, we're not, we're gonna be cleaning that daily, probably. Maybe, we'll see. Seems, oh wow, it's super easy, it just slips right back in there. I think. Yeah, so it's like, something we'll figured out. Well, we will be back. So we got it charging, got it by their filtered water. Uh, pretty cool thing about this, is it has um you can like wrap the cord back there this little thing that sticks out which actually helped um another thing is it comes with extra this thing 
well, yeah, this thing, which just is a <laughs> he's already wondering what the heck is going on. This, he put it like in front of a doorway and it'll, uh, this little sensor, I think it doesn't, it won't cross there. Um, we have another kind of vacuum bag and a filter. So that was really cool of him. So now we are updating it. I sparted during the whole setup. Little spook my new things. Bar bar. No. What is it? No. No. Don't lick the. We're, we're filming you. <laughs> Artigas. He's ashamed. You ashamed? He's saying X videos. Same Husky X videos. <laughs> you ready for your Roomba? Ready for the Roomba? Hmm? And now it's installing, uh, installing some sort of firmware. Uh, the app is really cool and it's extremely responsive. I was really surprised. Um, uh, it found our robot immediately. Like this has been way easier than setting up a printer. And I hate setting up printers. Almost as bad as network adapters or modems, but yeah, this one, it lets you nickname the Roomba, uh, connect it to it perfectly, and it, then it like, kind of does this like, little singing, jingling thing, and if I clicked clean right now, I'm pretty sure it would start going. Uh, I think it's even like fully charged now, so that's pretty crazy. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. All right. Lisa, do you want to do the, uh, yeah, you do it. Uh -oh. oh, what's it say? Oh, oh yeah, clean all, yeah, clean it all. What's it say now? I just want you to clean. The baby mobile will clean wherever it can reach, automatically avoiding drop-offs, returning to its charging station as needed. You can help it out by picking up small objects. All right. Yeah, I suggest that you stick around. Yeah, I want to see how this thing works. Ready? Happy cleaning. All right. Whoa. Whoa. It's not as loud as I thought it was. Yeah. 
didn't get that corner, so I want to see if it... figured out, or Lisa figured out, that it's picking that up from the ground because from uh, our stepping it kind of packs it into the carpet. And we've seen it multiple times, hit it from the side, those little uh, whipper things, <laughs> what are they called? The whipper snappers, is what picks it up. So if it goes by the side, that's really cool. Get it on camera. Uh, I guess there's only one side. So that's a really high part for the I love it. And yep, see that's how I got it. So it pulls it up from the ground and then that little swiper thing is what finishes the job. Finish. And it's those corners with that little whipper shot. It's like So, oh, no, no. So, it up some fur. All that fur. Smarted it. So it knows now that's usually where a chair is. Cool. Okay, so it cannot fit through there. Looks like it does it a couple times to make sure. Tense with this cleaning. So I knew to go around. Oh, look, it even pulled up more hair. This might be a must-have for Huskies. Oh, 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 come here, come here. Lisa, do you remember that? Rock'em Sock'em? Got it! You, get, you remember Rock'em Sock'em? Rock'em Sock'em, meet Rock'em Sock'em. More fun than a pillow fight. They don't make them anymore, probably because they're probably warranty. All right, so now we're gonna get this up. Lisa, our robot's about to get this up. Ooh, suck my robot, please.
I would love it if it said, suck, complete. <laughs> Let me smash. Cool, I guess it's charging now. No. Jeez, this thing is seriously relentless. It's like a little soldier, you know? Even the kitties were brave about it. Sparta! Come here! Fine. Come here! Come here! No, how far? Are we already ready for the suck? Jesus. I'm surprised, like, how accurate it is. I mean, it has no trouble getting back on. So far, Lisa and I are very impressed. We're very impressed with it. What the fresh hell is that? <laughs> what the fresh hell is that, Danny? That's the look of a very unimpressed husky. <laughs> this is not my fault, Sparta. Oh, okay, it's over, right? It's, yep, it's it's over, right? Oh, is it? It's over, right, Daddy? The bad machine's done. Oh yeah, so it's okay. It went back for charging, but I actually heard like some like. So it's like it got some pebbles or rocks or something. All right, how far? We're gonna take a break. We'll take a break, okay? No oh, thanks. No oh, thanks. Baby, you were very brave. Next part is shedding him, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that does. Let's put that right back in there. Sorry, Sparta. <laughs> you are a shed ball. You shed ball, Sparta. Wanna get you shedded? Hmm. Wanna get you shed on? All right. So we've had the Roomba for how many days? Two days. And these things are supposed to last a month without use, two weeks to four weeks, and it's already full. So it's like a, a full diaper, like a full popcorn bag. Let's see if you can see that light better. So it's just all first. So I'm going to take it out, um, and when we do that, Lisa and I will talk about the pros and the cons. So the pros are. We should have got this thing years ago. I mean, it is freaking fantastic. It's super intelligent. Uh, we, you can set it through trainings. Uh, so it's, it's trained the entire house. So this is perfect for Huskies. This Roomba is perfect for Huskies is what I would say. Like, um, and not only that, it went over crazy. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to clean it. It seems awfully slow. I wonder if they want you to throw it away, but that would be really stupid. I guess you're just digging in it, but I'm gonna look really stupid if this isn't the way you're supposed to do it. But it was like weird. Sh what is that? <laughs> Oops. Um. So it can even so our closet soap. So our closet has these like little tracks. Uh, it's a sliding mirror. It was able to get over that. Uh, it, it goes through under his bed actually. And the animals took better to it than I thought, didn't they? Yeah, he was the most scared of it. But I mean, do you just see all this hair coming out? And another good thing about the Roomba is it, yeah, this is you, is the, it compresses, so this is all compressed in there. And that's how much we're pulling out still. Oh, it's kind of gross. There's got to be another way, right? I guess not. Maybe you're supposed to throw it away? Throwing that away? If we did that, then it would be like every four days I'd have to get a new bag. That's not gonna work. Yeah, this... So if you want a cheat sheet, like a little tip, and you're not afraid to get your hands a little dirty, I would just pluck it out of the hole. 
Um, so the cons. So we we say it's it's 100% worth it. The the Roomba i7 Plus with the vacuum is completely worth it. Uh, if you don't mind cleaning this out by hand and. The cons are it has trouble with movable rugs. Is that how you would explain it? Like bathroom rugs, it has trouble. Uh, any kind of shag carpet that's really thin with long, uh, long, what'd you say? Carpet? Carpet? Yeah, long carpet fiber. It gets stuck in there pretty easily. Um, but all you have to do when that happens, I mean, it's a little annoying when you're not home and you know that you can't go get it. But all you have to do is lift it, drop it down, and it knows exactly where to pick back up and it knows how to get back home. Uh, we've never seen it struggle to get back to its home, to its charging station. Uh, I've never even had to see it back up to redo itself because it didn't make it there. I'm still pulling out of here. I mean, this is just never ending. That's all from the ground, obviously. But like, we just vacuumed. We just vacuumed, didn't we? I mean, it was like last Saturday. And this is just a week's worth of husky hair, and he's basically done shedding. He's basically done shedding. Now he's just got strands, but obviously this is just... So if you're thinking if you want a husky and you're okay with vacuuming, I think you're going to be set, but... I think that's it. That's all we have to say about the room, but anything else special about it? It did pull up the hair from the ground, and then once it goes over it again, it does a really good job of picking it up. It will leave a few strands of that husky tough hair, and all you gotta do is just, you know, don't be lazy. You can just pick, just walk around and just pick up the small pieces that you see. It left it in the bathroom because it was having trouble with the carpet in there. But yeah, I don't. Oh, look at this. Human hair. <laughs> and husky hair and cat hair. Just constantly. Look at that. Ugh. And it's really nice to be able to walk through the, the apartment with like black socks on and not get as much fur or to walk through the kitchen without socks on or anything and not feel crumbs and stuff. I mean, it does so well at that. This thing sucks. Good. I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say about the Roomba. Totally get it. If you want it, you can get uh, the exact one that we have down below. It is an affiliate product or link. If you click on that to purchase, it really helps us out. And we'll, we'll give him more food and spoil him more than he already is. He just went on a long walkie, so he's tired. But all right, guys, I'm Stevie from I Love Wolf Dogs. This is Spartacus from I Love Wolf Dogs. Behind the camera is Lily, and we'll see you back on another video. Thank you very much. Say bye. Uh, Speak. <laughs> easy. <laughs> That's not easy.